Hello guys, in this echo we have a new boss and as always I will help you to do higher damage. The best weapon is still kunai, even if you have S weapons. From necklaces use eternal, if you don't have it void worker emblem will be the next one you should choose after eternal, but with emblem it's better to have low health, less than 50%. If you don't have emblem either or your metal neck guard gives higher attack, use metal neck guard. With this necklace would be great to have power bullet as the first skill or in case with epic or higher arcade, the last skill. Glows, of course eternal, especially if you have them legendary. Higher crit rate will do higher damage than if you would use hand guards. Hand guards use after eternal glows. If you don't have any as close, use army. The best suit is eternal, it will increase your attack after reviving. If you somehow don't have it, use full metal suit. From belts, use any of S, if you don't have them, use way sensor. This boss is not very fast, so if you have legendary threats, try them. With them you may do higher damage or use eternal boots. From common, use epic light runners. If you don't have them at this or higher grade, use prosthetic legs. Now about skills guys. In the first minute as always you won't be able to die, so we need to choose and focus on the right skills. Focus only on kunai and try to make shuriken as fast as you can. Besides making shuriken, focus on power bullet. These two skills are the best, and faster you locate them, then higher damage you will do. After these skills, when you don't have a chance to choose them, focus on drones. Type A does higher damage. Ninja Skull upgrade to 3 stars or choose when you don't have a better skill to choose. Besides all these skills, would be great to have Magnet at least 1 star. And the last skill which will help you to survive is Ronin Suit. Choose it if you don't have to choose skills I mentioned above. So guys, from minute 1 I usually say to die on purpose to get a tech boost from your suit, but in case with this boss, be careful with that. If you can survive, then do this, if it's hard for you to survive the last 2 minutes, don't die guys. In the second minute the boss is not doing high damage, so try to stay closer to him to do higher damage. The last minute will be very hard to survive, when you have a good amount of health, be close to him, but if you have low health, then keep a distance from him and try to get a new skill, a new skill will restore some amount of your health. Ok guys, this week is the last week for season 4, and the next week we will have a new season, by the way, a new hero and probably a new update. But bosses will remain the same. If I will find a better strategy or we will have some changes, I will make new guides. 